guys and welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be a humongous haul from Dolls Kill. So I've got quite the variety of items um, and the box it's all come in is ginormous. Like, look at this. <laughs> I don't think I've ever received a package this big, but um, I'm excited. So we're just going to dig in and see what I've got. So item number one is a bag and it's this really cute little just crazy diamond rucksack. Um, so it just would be really cute with any outfit and jazz it up a bit. Um, it's kind of like suede, like underneath the diamonds, but I just thought that was really wacky and quite funky and so I thought I'd give it a go. Only thing I would say is it's missing a... <laughs> if you look along the ridge here, it's missing a little diamond there, which now that I've noticed it, it's going to really annoy me, but it does come with spare diamonds, so I just need to super glue another one on and then we'll be good. So there's like two little bags of these, so it's not a problem. I just need to make sure I do that, but I just thought it'd be really cute. And this was, dun dun dun, it's $45 on their website, but I'll make sure everything's linked down below so you can find everything. Um, and it's called the 3AM Imports Beaming Bright Crystal Backpack. That's one fancy name, but no, I just thought it was really funky and quite quirky, but that's this one, and oh, look at that sparkle. It's gonna be, it's gonna be quite fun to wear on nights out, I think. And it's practical. It's a rucksack. It's a practical, fashionable rucksack. So the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is a pair of shoes by a mate called Liliana. So Dolls Kill sell lots of different like brand stuff just within their website. So this is one of those. And these are literally the cutest welly boots you're ever gonna see. Like they're sort of like the Chelsea boot style, but they're wellies. Um, so I just thought these would be really cute to wear when it's, you know, rainy and that sort of stuff. And they just, they feel really nicely made. So I'm really excited to wear these. And I think these could even get away as just normal shoes. Like I don't think they look that welly like. They're more like just stylish little ankle boots. So I'm obsessing over these. I think they're so cute. Ta-da! So they're just cute little ankle wellies, which will just be nice to wear when it's really wet outside. And they weren't actually that expensive. These cost, I think, $38, which to be honest, converted to pounds is about what I would normally pay for a pair of like nice ankle boots so I'm chuffed with these but no they just look like that so really really like these ones and they're really comfy like I've already put them on but I I've been good I've not worn them outside yet I've been waiting till I film the video and I got them in a UK 6 which is like a US 8 I want to say but no they're really comfy and I like the size of the heel it's like that that heel height that you can wear all day long and not even notice, but it just gives me that extra, you know, inch. <laughs> so really, really like these ones. And then the next thing I got is a really cute purple lingerie set. So it's made out of like a lace with butterflies in it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's just, it's really sweet and I really loved the color of it. And I just thought, I don't have any underwear this purple. I was going to say I don't have purple underwear, but that would be a lie. But I don't have any lilac underwear. Um, but I just thought it was a really cute, like, bustier sort of style um, top. Only thing I would say is it doesn't come with straps or the option for straps. And I did go for a medium just because I was looking at the model wearing it. And it said, like, this model's wearing a size small. And I was like, yeah, that's not going to work for me. So I sized up and the cups fit. But it is just a little bit big, like the underwiring doesn't sit flat in the middle like it's meant to. So I would like it a little bit tighter, but it's cute nonetheless. So I need to wear it out for a day to see if it actually stays up. And that'll be the real test, but it's so cute. And this is by Sugar Thrills, which I've got a crazy amount of stuff from them because it's just so like cute and pastely and I, I just love it. Um, so yeah, that's the top. And then the bottoms come in this cute little packaging like this. It's just like a holographic box. And um, Sugar Thrills put the little items in, um, which I think is really sweet. And the thong just looks like this. It's very sweet. It just matches the lace and then has this cute little bow that matches the middle bow. Like that. So I think it's a really cute set and I'm excited to give it a go. And the pants I got in a size small, um, which seems perfect. They, they're they not too small or big, which is ideal. Um, and price-wise, 
the thong was $22 and the bra was $28 so there's not much difference between top and bottom but um I have to have sets I, I don't like just getting like bras and not matching bottoms so um no I love this one and look at that the lace around the top is it's got it's made out of hearts like isn't that adorable this is from their Valentine's range if you go on their website but I'll put that down below because even though it's Valentine's Day today um you know you can still get all this stuff so um that's this one and then the next thing I got is this really cute fluffy wrap jumper um, now if you follow my Instagram you might have already seen I've already worn this for a photo on there because it's so lovely like it's so soft and it just fits so cute um, so it's just a simple like kind of like a ballet jumper it really reminds me of where it just wraps around um, so it has a nice like V neckline and then the sleeves are sort of like they bell out a little bit um, but I absolutely love this and I got it in a size small and price wise uh, it was $38 so and it's called the saintly sassy wrap sweater describes it very accurately um, and then in the Instagram I love wearing this jumper at the moment with this set um, so I might as well show you two in one because I'll probably try them on together anyway um, it's this lingerie set that is so sassy look at those straps it literally has rhinestone straps like isn't that amazing and it's just this really cute baby blue satin um, which looks so cute underneath the like wrap sweater because it's sort of like comes across the middle bit there so works really well it's a little bit tight on me this set um, it's a size small and this doesn't have much stretch although doing that it has plenty of stretch but when I'm when it's on me it doesn't stretch enough um, so it's a little bit tight so these like arm things here where they come there I feel a little bit restricted but um, I think I can make it work and it looks so cute underneath this I'm just I'm gonna make it work so I'll go pop that on but before I do that the satin bra did come with a matching pair of bottoms they're just these very frilly blue pants um, and they just say angel written in rhinestones on the front which they're very cute but funny enough when I wear these they are not ruched <laughs> they just sort of stretch out like they still look really cute but they just they look a bit different to this but um yeah and they're a size small as well um, and the, the satin set was so it's called the angelic rain satin set and I got it both in a small and that was $48 um, so I definitely should have gone for a medium because the bottoms and the top are a little bit big a little bit big I wish a little bit small um, so yeah I need to size up on this one but no I'll go pop that on so this is how it fits and it's just so cute with the blue satin underneath because all you see is the diamante straps and a little bit of the blue but it just basically acts as a bandeau that matches the jumper which is ideal and the sleeves they're not too bell just because I, if they like came any further onto my hand I'd be really worried I'd be dipping them into everything but no I think these are like just the right amount and it's so fluffy like I love it and then it just ties at the back one thing I would say is it comes up quite high the back of it so if I wasn't wearing like the nice satin um, like bra top whatever you want to call it underneath I think it would look a bit odd because you would just see like the band of the bra so no I think it works well with this underneath because it just sort of it makes it like a set so no nah, love this one now the next few items I'm gonna show you if this doesn't scream extra I really don't know what does I've, I've managed to get a three-piece matching set um, just because why not so I'll start with the dressing gown uh, so it's just this gorgeous sort of like black satiny um, effect robe with lovely red and green flowers all over it so it's just really like cute and it's not very long it's like a nice cropped dressing gown and it comes with a bell um, so this is just really nice to wear when it's a bit warmer you know in the summer where you don't want the full-on fluff of a dressing gown um, this is ideal to throw on and of course I got the matching so this is like the matching sort of like nightdress thing but the detail on it's so pretty like just look at those straps I love little things like that and then it's got frills around the cups and it's just so soft and so that's just a really cute little night dress, just like that. And then if I don't fancy wearing a night dress, I have another option. <laughs> so this is the sort of like bodysuit romper version. Um, and it's just got like lace panelling in between. So it's just really cute, this one. And 
No, I think it's going to be really comfortable to wear as well. But again, this is from the Valentine's Day collection, so I'll make sure to pop that down below. But it's so cute. And if you're like me and hate rompers because you have to take them all off to pee, it has the amazing and the hygiene thing. So that's why I didn't pop properly. But it's got the poppers on the bottom, which is a nice touch. Um, so no, I'm really happy I managed to get all three pieces just because why not have everything matching? And this set was, I don't need that one. So I got all three of the pieces in a size small and the robe, the robe was $38 and then the dress and the romper were $28. So fairly, fairly similar in price, but um, no, I love that. So I'm gonna go pop that on for you guys now. So this is how it fits and it is just the cutest set, like. The robe is just the right sort of length for summer, um, and it's just really nicely ties with the belt. Only thing I would say is satin robes are a nightmare to keep shut, because um, this little belt, like, they just creep open, but it's not an issue when you have the matching dress underneath. Um, so now I really like the dress. The dress is on the short side um, compared to other ones I have, but it's not, like, too short or anything, but no, it's really cute, and I would just make a statement about the fabric like goes white when it stretches so you don't want to get this in a size too small um, just because otherwise the fabric will go a bit funny where the curves are but no I, I love this I think this is so cute so this is going to be my go-to pajama set for a while I think and the sleeves are really nice because they're not like full length they're like three-quarter length which is ideal when you're doing stuff so no I think this one's really cute love this the next thing I got was a, another item from Sugar Thrills, and it came in the really cute box again. Um, this one is a little bit pushed for space, it's a sort of like another like night dress sort of thing, but I did actually see a girl on Instagram wear this as a dress and it looked so cute, but unfortunately the weather in England I don't think allows me to do that, but I can dream. And it's just this super cute, really like bright blue and white clouded design, and I cannot tell you how soft this material is, it's sort of made out of like... A thinner version of a swimming costume it's just really like airy and lovely and then it's got a really cute lace trim on the bottom and the straps they tie so you can have them as loose or as tight as you want and um no I just think it's really cute and I like the little bow in the middle so no I just think this is gonna be really comfortable and nice to wear so yeah I'll definitely be wearing this as you know a nice pajama but whether I'll get it out as a dress is a, another question I haven't actually put this on yet so we'll see when I put it on and this one was this is where it isn't on this one of course I have two statements <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. this one was I think this is the sky bliss vision satin slip that sounds exactly like it, and it was $30. So yeah, but I think it's just gonna be so nice to wear at night, because I don't like wearing like really warm pajamas or really heavy pajamas, so this will be perfect. So this is how it fits, and I think I can get away with it as a sort of like cute summer dress number, because um, it's not too short, like it's a nice summer dress sort of length. I think the straps are really cute. Only thing I would say, the fabric comes up a little bit sheer, um, but just a cute white bra underneath and it solves the problem so no I think it makes like a it, it I think it looks like a dress let me know if you think it looks like a dress or whether it looks like I'm wearing my pajamas outside but I'd love to be able to wear it as a dress with that cute little white converse but um no it fits so cute and I love the fabric so no I love this one so the next thing I got is also kind of like a night dress but also probably lingerie but looking at it I don't know really what I was thinking it looks a bit you know old-fashioned in my eyes and it's just this it's not a romper I don't think no it's like a little baby doll sort of dress thing and it's got pink bows on it um in the like ivory sort of lace thing I'm just not loving it it's not my cup of tea so you don't know unless you try these things but the skirt's really cute being like a bit see-through and mesh I mean it's very sweet it just, it's not my style, I don't think. And I think I'll prefer wearing the other ones more. But um, I did get this in a size small, and let's see how much this one was. Uh, 
so this is the Sugar Thrills Always and Forever Lace Teddy and this was Oh, it's only $16.80, so this is the cheaper one out of all of them, and I mean, it's still lovely, it doesn't look any cheaper, it's just a different style, so that's this one. Now, the next item I'm going to show you guys is, I think, the most likely outfit I'm going to wear to my Valentine's Day later, and it's just this gorgeous red satin skater dress, um, sort of with like an unusual top, it sort of reminds me of like gives me a gypsy vibe or like a slightly old-fashioned vibe with the sleeves um, but it's really cute and it has this cute little rose in the middle um, and it does come with a belt which is ideal for me because I really like dresses where they draw in the waist and then just a really feminine skater skirt so I'll go pop this one on I'm excited to see how it looks because I I really want this to be the dress I wear but obviously it's also weather permitting um, the weather's not been too great at the moment but we will see <laughs> And it does have a zip down the side, so it shouldn't be too hard to get on and off. Oh, what is going on here? The zip is getting stuck where the sewing is. Oh, no, it's fine. It did just catch a little bit. But, yeah, so I will go pop this one on. I got this in a size small, and I believe this one was $58. So it's a little bit more expensive, but it is a lovely red satin dress. So I sort of expected that. But, um, yeah, I will go pop this on. So this is how it fits, and I mean fit-wise, they couldn't have got it any better. I think even if they made it to measure me, it couldn't fit this good. Like, it is literally perfect everywhere. Um, only thing I would say, I'm not sure on the style of this top. It's a little bit different to what I would usually go for, but I mean, I, I don't think it looks terrible. And the actual dress, it's so cute, and the back of it is so feminine. Like, I love the length of the low back. I think it's just that perfect length. Um, to really make the dress it's just this part that it is growing on me like the more I look at it it's just getting used to it it wouldn't be what I would normally be drawn to but let me know what you think about it and the skirt it's got like that really like high waist effect so it's going to make my legs look crazy long which is always a bonus but um no I mean it's a really cute dress I definitely think I'd I could wear it I just I don't know I, I need to get used to this top but um let me know what you think of the top and that might sway me a little bit but I mean, it's so cute. It's such a, like, girly dress, like the skirt, the, with the skater skirt. I love it. So, um, no, I really like the fit of the dress, and I feel really nice in it. It's just getting used to the sleeves and that sort of stuff. But, I mean, I don't think they're terrible. But, yeah, that's this one. So, the last thing I'm going to show you guys is a puffer jacket by Club X. Now, this was the most expensive thing I bought, which was $85. But... It is a complete reflective jacket like you can probably see it looks a bit odd um, just currently and that's because it is crazy reflective so I'm gonna go play around with my lights and put this on so we can see what it's like but it has horns like isn't this crazy only thing I would say before I do that is I wish it was a little bit longer like it's quite a cropped jacket so I mean it'll look cute with high-waisted jeans and that sort of thing but if it's actually really really cold outside I don't want my lower back to get freezing, so it's more of a stylish jacket, maybe for, you know, cold spring days. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a really nice jacket. I just wish it was a few inches longer. But um, you have to see how reflective this is. I'm going to be blinding people. It's it's mad. So I'll go pop this on. Okay, so I'm going to put it on, and then I'm going to turn on my lights off. And we will see what happens. This will not be going with my outfit currently. <laughs> I can't actually see in it. <laughs> right, let's turn off the lights. <laughs> when I said turn off the lights, I didn't mean, you know, throw it on the floor, but you know. So I don't know, is it reflecting yet? Or is this light too much? Let me take my thing up off. Wait. <laughs> I don't know how to make it reflect. I don't know if it's doing it. Hmm. Do you guys get the picture? Well, I'll try one more thing. I cannot find my phone. Found ah. it. Well, no. The screen's not bright enough. Let me try. 
<laughs> oh wait, no, it worked better like that. <laughs> oh, like, look, it goes white, basically. So yeah, that's this jacket. Pretty darn awesome. I just wish, like, I don't know if you guys can see, let me turn the lights back on and then you can see the length of it. But, um, crazy reflective. So this is the length issue I was talking about. So these are like crazy high-waisted jeans um, and they sit there and that's actually the base of my bra. So you can see we're gonna, I'm gonna have to wear like a vest top tucked in in order to rock this, but it, it just sits so high. And if I like move my arms up at all, I don't know. This is a prime example of when they forget about the practicality of an item. Um, this is a coat, but not a very good one, but I'm still gonna wear it because it's just so sassy and I've never seen anything like it. Like, it's so reflective and it has horns and I feel like I am one of the few people who is gonna wear this. Um, so I've just gotta find outfits it works with and give it a go really, cause I mean, it might keep me warm enough. You never know. So that's that one. So that's all I got for you today. I really do hope you enjoyed today's video. I did get quite the variety of items um, from this haul, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought of the stuff I got in the comments down below. I'm overall really chuffed with the items. There's been, you know, a few I'm unsure on, but overall I think it was a really good haul. But uh, apart from that, I'll link all the items down below if you would like to check any out. Along with my social media, I have an Instagram, a Patreon, and a second channel, which is all about rocks and fossils, um, if that interests you. So apart from that, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.